we are looking at how humans learn the information processing model. Just the basics, because this replies to everything. Memory essentially is a holding tank. To remember, to member again means putting back together again. We're going to look at the information processing model. First of all, we have input, which is the data, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sense memory, or sometimes called sensory register, is the initial stage. It holds all incoming information for seconds or a fraction of a second. It's kind of like when you write letters with a sparkler. That is a good sense of how sense memory holds that initial stimuli. There's the stimuli, sensory register, or sense memory. We have to make sure to attend to that, however. Short-term memory, some people call it working memory, but I perceive of working memory as a subsection of short-term memory. It can hold seven plus or minus two items. That means anywhere from five to nine bits for about 15 to 30 seconds, unless there is some sort of rehearsal. You must pay attention to information and sense memory, however, for it to move to short-term memory. A lot of stuff bombards our, sentence, our, our senses, but we have to selectively choose to attend to it for it to get to short-term memory. Working memory technically is doing something with information in short-term memory. Some people call this consciousness, what you're aware of. And this is where executive control is, where you choose to pay attention to certain sorts of things and attend to uh, information. Long-term memory holds an almost unlimited amount of information. All information in long-term memory here, it's either active, that means you can access it, or inactive. It's there, but you are not able to retrieve it or remember it. And here's the key to the universe. We use the knowledge in long-term memory to help us understand and process information in short-term memory. We take in information and we use this to help us make sense of that, to find the structure and put it here. And the more knowledge we have here, the better we are able to understand, to process, to encode. And that is the basics of the information processing model, just an overview.